If you want your dog to do something reliably, it has to be rewarding for your dog. So your dog has to get something out of it. And that's where rewards come in, right? And for me, one of the most basic rewards is any form of food. Because it's very easy to use for us, and most dogs really like it. And at this point, if your dog cannot eat outside, please check the stress level. Very often there is something really stressful for your dog going on and that's why your dog can't eat outside. So this is a whole new topic and it's not what we're talking about today. Today we're going to talk about how you can use different treats and what different treats actually mean. So for example, we have today cooked meat and some kind of sausage. And you can always ask your dog what he or she prefers on this day. It might differ from day to day. It depends on, well, what the dog likes, right? We don't like the same food every day as well. So preferences might change from day to day. And I also have some dried kibble like this. It's most of the time not that high in value for the dog because it's dry, it's boring and something soft, small and easily swallowed is very often higher in value. And of course, whenever you want your dog attached to the food so you can take your dog with you, you can always use some kind of tube or little canister with something to smear inside like liver paste or something like that. I have some liver paste here in a little container and I can just attach her to it and take her with me. The huge advantage for that is that you can actually calm your dog down a little bit with the action of licking, right? And you can just attach your dog and take your dog with you whenever things become a little bit tricky. And then, of course, you have different options of giving your dog the treat. Like if you feed your dog from your hand, it's all right. But most of the time you can increase the value of the treat when you change up how you give it to your dog. Like if you do a little bowling game like this, and your dog can bounce after it or search for it it almost always increases the value of the treat but for that of course you need a treat that bounces a little bit so this is where very often cheese comes in or some kind of sausage dried kibble bounces but not on every surface and of course you don't want your dog to bound after a treat on concrete so do this on some kind of soft surface. Tell me in the comments what your dog loves. Sometimes those are really funny. Sometimes dogs have really quirky preferences in treats. And if you want to know how to use treats with leash reactivity, watch this video.